everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where we do painting tutorials and today I'll be doing a monochrome forest landscape. To do that I start by pre-weighing my paper with just some clean water and a large quill brush. And the color I'll be using for this entire painting is the screen by Van Gogh. I applied pretty much all over the page pretty randomly, just I tried to leave a highlight aka um, area without any paint that's slightly off center a bit below the center you can tell that almost all kind of area up being right there and since i'm using a paper that is mostly cellulose what that means is it dries pretty much instantly so i didn't wait for this to dry i just took some more of my dust green and I did some strange lines to give the idea of tree trunks and I'm going to add a couple of branches just to make it a bit more realistic. I want these to be in the distance so I'm not going to stress too much on giving it details or anything of that sort and then with my brush I tap over the ends of those branches to give the idea of foliage. This is all just the first layer, so I'm just using it to have a base upon which I'm going to build up my next layers because if I just had a green background and then like two, three trees and a following layer with a bit more detail, then you'd like if this forest were all the other trees. And here I waited about five, six minutes for this to air dry, the time to finish off my morning coffee. And I pick up some of the dust green with just the tip of the brush. That way I get a very easy, almost like gradient effect, meaning where uh, the left side of the tree trunk is darker than the right side. And then I add a bit more detail to this, a bit more branches. And I'm using more of the dust green on a dry background. That's how I make sure the second layer is going to be darker. And since it is closer to us, it needs to be darker because that's how perspective works. And I'm just tapping randomly all over to create the foliage. I'm not stressing too much about that because it's for colors. And I don't really paint realism and that kind of stuff. And then again, I whip my brush into the water jar, pick up some paint with the tip of the brush, and I add another tree to the right side, a bit shorter, and just a couple of branches popping out, then one time to the left, one time to the right. I like to alternate the directions. And then you guess it, I'm just gonna tap over them for some easy foliage. Then I thought I'd add one more tree to the left side in this area, and I'm going to leave it all to air dry. And by the way, if drawing and sketching is not your thing and you struggle to place your trees or whatever, I do offer traceables to my painting tutorials over at my Patreon page, Sunshine Arts, and we also do full-time painting tutorials over there once a month. And yes, this painting you see right here is the full-time painting tutorial for the month of October from my Patreon account. So if any of that interests you, links are going to be down in the description along with all of the supplies I've used throughout this painting and now that I have finished the trees for the second layer I'm just gonna tap randomly on the bottom of the page to create a little uh, pathway a little foresty path there which again is just basically randomly tapping over it here I just want to show you the beautiful granulation you get with the screen from Van Gogh you get pretty much a realistic looking bark texture without having to do anything extra because this is granulating paint I love when you don't have to do any fancy stuff you just use the tools you have to your best advantage and, and it just makes life a ton easier on you then I want to darken up that pathway there on the bottom so it's only the highlight in between the trees in the center of the paint. And first I went with just some dirty water from my paint jar to get a very subtle green. But I didn't end up liking it. So I'm going to darken it up with the brush. And then I'm going to tap with a napkin to lift it off. Make it a bit lighter because it was looking a bit too dark. And that's the cool thing about watercolors. If you make a mistake, you can always correct it. You can always re-wet the surface. You can pick it up with either your brush or a napkin. It's very forgiving is where I'm trying to get. Now for the final layer, I switched to a skinnier brush that holds less water. And less water means more saturated results because again, the closer the subject, aka the trees, get to us as the viewer, the darker they should appear. 
So I think this is number six Da Vinci brush here. And again, I'm just still using that old the screen in the tree trunk. And then I tap over its branches. And I'm gonna add one more tree over the right side that's slightly out of frame. Remember to make the bomb thicker than the top. Make some branches pop out of the tree trunk and then tap over them. Then I want to make the pathway look a bit overgrown, like you have some greenery popping out from the bushy foresty area onto the path. So just some very, very small tapping over the path. And lastly, slowly peel off the tape in the opposite direction to avoid ripping apart your paper. If you do feel like you need to use force and strength to peel it off, stop that, get yourself a hair dryer or a heat gun if you have that, but hair dryer works great. Medium settings, keep it there for like 10-20 seconds and it's gonna peel right off. I'd like to give a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters for the month of November and thank you all for watching. Let me know if you found any value and use in this video down in the comments. Thank you again for watching and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye!